Hello there everyone, welcome to the Toy Room. I am the Toy and Game Collector, bringing you another action figure of the week. Today I'll be talking about an action figure that makes a good display piece, but does not make a very good toy. We'll be talking about the Clone Trooper from the Star Wars Clone Wars micro series, which premiered on Cartoon Network between, I believe it was 2003 until 2005. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. Yeah, these are the DVDs for the micro series, Volume 1 and 2. I used to watch the these on TV when I was a kid. They were around 5 to 3 to 10 minutes long usually. They premiered in between cartoons on Cartoon Network. Now, since the Clone Wars in general wasn't fe wasn't shown in great detail in the prequel movies, that's what these were for at the time, and I really enjoyed them. The person who made these was Gendy Tartakovsky, who made shows like Samurai Jack and Dexter's Laboratory, for anyone who remembers those shows. Yep. I completely forgot this show existed until I found not this DVD, but another copy of this at a, at a Toys R Us back in 2008, back when the, the new Clone Wars cartoon was about to come out on Cartoon Network. And it took me forever to find Volume 2. I didn't get that until, until a little over a year ago. I think Volume 2 is my favorite. But that's enough talk about the micro-series. Let's talk about the figure. Well, I just dropped the DVDs. <laughs> Be careful, those aren't easy to come by. But for anyone who wants to watch the micro-series, the entire thing is on YouTube. Let's talk about the figure. This figure was released sometime between 2003 and 4, I believe, because this is a Phase 1 Clone Trooper. You know what makes this a good to toy to display and not to, play, <coughs> not to play with? Is he's very limited on articulation. His, his legs don't move very well. I believe he doesn't hold his gun very well. That's not how he's supposed to hold it. I guess I should mention I have opened this box, and I put I kept the box for display purposes. And he looks cool with that explosion background in the back. Also, also when I got him, I couldn't turn his head. He can turn his head, but you know it's very stiff, very tight in there. Now let's look at the back of the box. Yeah, through the creative vision of Lucasfilm Limited. In the Cartoon Network, the Clone Wars are brought to life in an exciting new series of short animated chapters. A unique animation style captures the drama of this epic period in galactic history, along with its outstanding heroes and adversaries. Noble Jedi warriors lead clone troopers into battle against the evil Separatist forces and their droid armies. Anakin, Obi-Wan, Yoda, and their comrades struggle against the rising power of the dark side and confront personal challenges against the backdrop of war-torn planets. Here's a picture of the clones rushing into battle. A picture of what the clones looked like for around the first, for the volume one of the DVD. And down here are other figures you could collect at the time. You got Obi-Wan Kenobi, Mace Windu, Anakin Skywalker, Asajj Ventress, Count Dooku, Clone Trooper, Yoda, and Dudge. Yep. All of these figures have limited articulation, unfortunately, but they may... You know, I, I'd hate to be a kid and receive this toy and not being able to play with it much, but they make great display pieces. And for the most part, they're not too expensive. I see them on eBay for around 10 to $30 a piece, usually. I bought this clone trooper online a year ago for around, around 12 bucks, brand new. Yeah, great display piece, just not a great toy to play with. Well, that's all the time I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.